G'day and welcome back with another video. We have another email from the ACS and this is what it says. Gruntly, long time no see friend. We heard that you weren't feeling very well at all, which I'm sure wasn't great. We are, however, thrilled to hear that you are now doing well. Hope your holiday was nice and warm because we are sending you into the cold, harsh climate of Medved Tiger to hunt a brown bear. Usually, we ask for a breeding pair, but surveys have shown that our current attractions aren't scary enough and a big old brown bear should do the trick. Can't wait to see what specimen you have in store for us. ACS. So yeah, I'd had a bit of a break. I wasn't feeling that well at all, but we're back now and I'm very, very happy and very excited to be in this cold, cold climate looking for a very big brown bear. This means that we are going to have to maybe pass up on some smaller bears, but I know that there is a big bear just around the corner. So let's get into what I'm using today. So our weapon of choice is the 308, obviously filled with tranquilizing rounds and maybe to call in a bear, we do have a distressed fawn caller. So we might need to use this as well. But without further ado, let's get on the hunt looking for a brown bear to add into our amazing animal conservation park. We have a very nice herd of boar out there as well. Unfortunately, not our targeted species. Would be really cool to add maybe at a later date, but uh, we are on the brown bear hunt at the moment. Maybe there is room for wild boar within our park at a later date. We might need to come back to Medved and try to get a couple of those. While I am here making my way north and maybe getting up to this lookout tower, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone for the support you've been showing in the series. I am definitely enjoying uh, looking at the comments and seeing that you guys are really enjoying it. So a big thank you to all of you for that. It definitely gives me that motivation to continue making these videos. And if you do like it, please hit like and comment below what animal you want to see me add to our ACS Zoo in a future video. Thank you again. Oh, that track definitely looks like it's a bear track. Now remember, we're after a big male. So is this a male track and is it big? It is a male track and it is quite large. So we might put on our stalking cap and go for a bit of a walk and see if we can find this animal. It is going in the direction we kind of came from. So hopefully it hasn't really caught wind of us and, and bug it off. I am going to apply some scent eliminator here and hopefully we can get close enough. Now we're going to have to be very, very quiet while looking for this bear because as some of you may know that bears have an excellent sense of smell, sight, and even hearing as well. So not only will they be able to smell us if the wind's off, they'll be able to see us from a distance and they'll even be able to hear us coming from very, very far away. There's a brown bear in front of us giving off a warning call. Let's see if we can quietly get up close and spot this thing. And if it is big enough, we can take it straight to our park. If not, we are going to have to try to sneak out without getting hurt. It is a small brown bear. We are going to let him go. It looks like he's heading the other way, which is fine for us. Let's see if we can find that bigger one. Oh my goodness. That is a piebald musk deer. A very, very, very rare animal. Oh my goodness me. Let's see how close we can get and maybe take a couple of photos of it. That is a gorgeous animal. I do not think I've ever seen this sort of coloration on a musk deer. It is very, very, very cool. This musk deer right in front of us is probably going to give us away if we try to get any closer, but just, I guess we can spend some time just looking at it. It is such a beautiful animal. All right, back onto our hunt. We need to find a big brown bear. We found one. It was too small. We found a piebald musk deer, which is really cool, but we still are after that brown bear. You know, we're still on the right track. We're still finding brown bears. But with this, I also saw this sticking out of the ground. Now, some of you might know what that is, I just want to go check it out and show you all. So thousands of years ago, the wildlife in this very area would have looked very, very different because it is missing a very big land mammal, and that is the mammoth. And this tusk that I'm about to walk up to is actually a tusk from a woolly mammoth that used to live around here, which is amazing. And uh, we are just so lucky to even be able to spot one of these. So let's get a little closer. Have a better look. Yeah, wow, have a look at this tusk. It is absolutely huge. And I would love to get woolly mammoth into our park, but I know extinct animals are not the easiest animals to source, but we can definitely take this and use it for display within our zoo. So uh, let's pick it up. So yes, I understand it is quite dark at the moment. That's because for the rest of the day, we didn't have much luck at all finding a big brown bear. So I thought, you know, I'm, I'm aware that they're more active at night. I've rested up for the rest of the day and now we are back out in the field at night here. It's about 8 p.m. looking for these guys. Now, I know that they tend to 
like to head down to the watering holes to try to find some prey and to, you know, just rehydrate themselves. That's what we're doing here. And hopefully we'll come across that big brown bear we're after because this hunt is turning out to be quite a difficult one. Fingers crossed we're nearing the end of it. Whoa. After a warning call, we have a massive brown bear. It is fleeing. I'm going to let it go for a little bit. And then hopefully it'll calm down and come right back or at least somewhere around there. But that thing has taken off. I think we found what we're after. A big old brown bear. I think I just got a glimpse of it. Oh, I definitely did. I definitely did. He is right in front of us. That gorgeous, gorgeous animal. It is making its way, I don't think towards us, but let's see if we can call it in with our caller. All right, where is it? Where's that bear? Okay, yes, I can see it moving over there. It is walking towards us. This is huge. This is huge. We are actually going to bag a massive bear for our zoo. This is awesome. Now we're almost ready to take a shot. Let's make sure we have our rifle up and we're ready to go as soon as the shot presents itself. Oh my, we have just secured a massive bear for our zoo. Here we are back in our zoo now. Something really cool is that many of the guests think that our tickets are underpriced. I don't know. I don't want to raise the prices just yet. I think we feel like we need more animals, but we have some animal names to change. So if I head over to zoo, go to animals, a couple of these names are names that we are going to change. So let's get straight into it. So our male moose from William will now be called George. Bodine, our female moose, will be Anna and her friend or sister, Elsa. Here we have our pronghorn antelope. We are naming Carter. So already as well, just to quickly get into it, we have two baby pronghorn, which is very, very exciting. Now, but how awesome is that, that our zoo is already growing? And speaking of growing our zoo, it is now time to add our brown bear into the mix. Now, as I was just about to place Sebastian into his exhibit, we did find out that he had a little bit of a disease. That seems to be okay now, relocating him back to the quarantine. I'm guessing that's him inside that box. I think he's just about ready to get moved straight into our exhibit for him. Now, this is our current exhibit. It is not too large. It doesn't need to be. It is large enough for him. So it's got a thousand meters squared. I definitely want to have somewhere he can swim. So let's grab him and put him in his new home. Here we go. Our brown bear is now home. Let's see how he looks. Very, very cool. He is awesome. Look at him. Oh my goodness. He's probably not the most happiest right now. So I'm just going to pause the game here for a second. So straight away, there is way too much long grass. Let's change that. We're probably not going to have a whole bunch of snow. We might need to do a little bit of alteration there as well. But let's get straight into it. Let's make sure we're adding a lot more short grass for this guy. So just like that, we know that Sebastian loves snow. So we've just completely snowed up his exhibit here, which is great. Now he is wanting hard shelter. So let's get straight onto that. Make sure that we have a shelter for our brown bear here. There we go. A massive shelter for him. And of course we will need some bedding here. So let's give him three different spots to bed if he wishes. Uh, and maybe even a fourth smaller one, just in case he feels like that's what he wants. Now we need to make sure that this lovely guy has a little bit of swimming area. I, I definitely want that for my animals. So let's go to terrain. Let's uh, let's sculpt the sand. The, let's just sculpt a little bit here and just a very, I don't want it, it doesn't have to be huge, but large enough and just some calm water just there as well for our brown bear to relax and looks great so far. Looks great. So looking at our environment, there is not enough tree cover or anything like that. Now we have the option for Asian biome being tiger or tundra. I guess it was medved tiger. So we're going to grab some tiger items here as well. So we're going to start off with the plants. I do want to actually cover some of these. So let's use these to cover our pooling. But we do have Himalayan pine, which would be absolutely amazing for this guy. And look, that exhibit already looks absolutely amazing. Something that I would be happy to live in if I was a bear. I think it's time to add some rocks, maybe. A couple tiger rocks. Yeah, just over here. We did have a quite a large boulder that I remember seeing on the uh, on the reserve. So maybe pop that here. We'll give it a little bit of privacy as well. And 
Just like that, our coverage has been sorted. Let's get a little bit of enrichment. Our brown bear Sebastian is now very, very happy. So let's have a little bit of a, a squiz on him. He's just <laughs> rubbing himself. He looks absolutely amazing. He looks super happy to be here as well, which I'm very glad about because the heat in Australia is very, very different to how it is over in Medved Tiger. So I think our exhibit is looking very good, albeit simple. Um, if there's any recommendations for it, please let me know in the comments. And obviously we need to name this guy. Sebastian is just a placeholder name for right now. I want you guys to help me out and pick a name for our big guy, Sebastian here, who is looking absolutely amazing and settling in very nicely <laughs> to his exhibit. So this is awesome. I'm so glad that we were able to source such an amazing animal. If you liked what you saw today, please consider hitting like on the video and subscribing to the channel to help us grow. Other than that, I will see you in the next one.